I got to say, uh, that is some smart advertising on the part of the United States Tennis Association. As a tennis player, I'm happy to see commercials saying, hey, get out and play, social distance. Get rich or dive trying. That's the tagline to the new show Cannonball, which sends people flying through the air and splashing down all in the hopes of winning $10,000. If you've seen the show, uh, say Wipeout, uh, you get a sense of what this is all about. Uh, but with any cannonball, some people make a splash while other contestants just flop. Joining us now from Los Angeles is the host of Cannonball. He is Mike the Miz Mizanin. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Tell us all about the show. Show the tagline is the biggest, wettest, wildest water sports competition ever, and it's exactly that. Like when I pulled up to the set, I went, Oh my god, this thing is huge! It's like the biggest water park I've ever seen. And our contestants are all walks of life. Like normally, I like to be like, Yo, I'm the star of the show, but uh, but no, our contestants are like you have NCAA collegiate athletes people who spend 24 hours a day in the gym, people who have never seen a gym in their entire life. We have a sock model. We have a, a woman who just enjoys aliens. We have a guy that has two cats and we call him the cat daddy. We have videographers, stay at home dads. We have a 54 year old woman who is more ripped than I am. I mean, these are just all the different characters you're going to see on Cannonball and they're all vying for $10,000. Well, uh, years ago, uh, there was a show that was imported. They, they erased the soundtrack and overdubbed it. It was out of Japan. It was called Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. And it, that show could have you laughing so hard, tears were coming out of your eyes because the contestants were not athletes. Is that part of the appeal? Uh, you know, some are athletes, some aren't. But uh, you just never know who's going to succeed in this in Cannonball. I mean, the competition is real. Ten thousand dollars is on the line, but it creates some laugh out loud moments. So uh, I definitely would say sit down with the whole family, especially in a time like right now where I feel like there's a lot of drama in the world. Sometimes you need just an escape and Cannonball is that perfect escape just to laugh. All right, your career as a wrestler, extremely successful. We see guys like uh, you, The Rock, John Cena, and The Big Show all going into TV and movies and crossing over. How does uh, life in the ring prepare you for life, uh, you know, as an actor better so than, say, your standard sport like baseball or, you know, some of the guys can be a little stiff, but, but you guys seem to be naturals uh, when, you go, when you go Hollywood. Well, thank you very much for that compliment. Uh, I think I think what it is is that we're live each and every week in front of normally ten to twenty thousand people in our audience. So we have hecklers, and uh, if we mess up a line, guess what? Our fans will let us know. And uh, you know, it's it, WWE. I feel like is larger than life characters, soap opera like storylines. So we are absolutely prepared for anything in entertainment. Like people are like, how did you prepare for Cannonball to be the host and be a commentator? I'm like, look, I was a commentator in WWE many times over again. And not only that, I host my own show, Ms. TV, live, no cue cards, no, no uh, teleprompters, just straight up through the head and we go. So uh, now, you know, with Cannonball, I get to go out there and just have fun and be me. And, uh, and I feel like WWE has prepared me for anything that uh, in entertainment has to offer. And that's exactly what I love doing. Like, I love entertaining. I'm so thankful that I was a WWE superstar and am still a WWE superstar. <laughs> have you done any of the stunts in Cannonball, uh, which is harder, the, the Cannonball course or wrestling or are they apples and oranges? Or I wanted to do the stunts. My producers wouldn't let me. They were like, we don't have time to do all those stunts. And I'm like, look, I just want to do one. And they're like, no, you can't do it, even though I'm supposed to be the expert. So if we get a season two, which I think we might, uh, I don't know that for a fact, by the way. I'm just speculating because that's what a person that wants a show to be successful and has it has a show being successful wants a season two. But I think in my contract, I'm going to literally say I have to test out each and every every challenge before I do it because that's the number one question I get asked on press. All right, we uh, have about 30 seconds left. Uh, we should ask how the family is because you have a, another successful show on USA called Ms. and Mrs. How's uh, life been through the pandemic and the lockdown and all of this? 
Ah. Uh. My daughters are amazing. My one daughter's two, the other one's 10 months. They're crawling and walking, running around. Uh, and I'll tell you what, being a dad is the hardest job in the world, but it makes for an entertaining reality show, which we have 14 episodes coming of Ms. and Mrs. on the USA Network in the fall. So look forward for that. All right, Ms., it's great to talk to you. Uh, be safe and uh, have a great time. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You can check out The Miz and the show Cannonball on USA Network. Tati.